am Krista Wax. You're listening to MSP Sound on KFAI, and I have Maria and the Coins with me. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hello, hello. Hi. How about we take a second and just everyone kind of introduce yourselves and say what you do in the band, and I will call people out by name because this gets complicated on Zoom. We'll start with Maria. Hi, I'm Maria, and I am the lead singer. Wonderful. Zach? I'm Zach, play piano. We should add Maria writes almost all of the songs, literally all of them. That's an important shout out. I play piano, keys. Wonderful. Connor? Uh, hey, everybody. I'm Connor. Um, I play guitar. Adam? I'm Adam. I play bass. I provide low end and moral support. Nice. That's important. Actually, both of those are very important roles. So you're foundational, no matter yes. how you look at it, is what you're That's saying. That's right. I'll be your rock. Yeah. I love it. Well, we were just chatting that it's been a while since you've been on the show, but we won't have to talk about that more specifically than that. But it's been a minute, but you're all back because oh, there's a new track out. Tell me all about it. Yay! Well, the new song is called Something Good. Um, we've been working on it for, for a little bit. It was our first time kind of back in the studio in a while. And um, it kind of is a little bit of a shift for us, I think, musically. Um, but the song is really important to us. Um, I wrote it while I was on a plane ride home uh, back to Minneapolis last year. Um, and just I struggled heavily with mental health, depression, anxiety. And um, it was just not feeling good. And uh, I was on the plane and I was just kind of feeling sort of like tired of not feeling good and kind of that frustration that comes with that. And I think oftentimes for anybody who struggles uh, with their mental health, you can reach a point where you don't really want to feel better even, but right before you, and, and I've been in sort of episodes of that before too, but right before you hit that point, um, Sometimes you just are sort of like searching for the, like something good that's out there to sort of help dig you out of whatever, you know, place you're in. And um, I started making a list just like mentally of like, here are the good things in my life. Here are the things worth, you know, bringing, bringing my best to and um, kind of spiraled into just like writing this song on a plane, which I can't say I've ever done before. Um, and I'm sure the person ne sitting next to me didn't appreciate that I was kind of like trying to hum things into my like voice memos of my uh, phone, but I was like, oh, it's like kind of loud on a plane. They probably can't hear me. <laughs> but yeah, I kind of landed in Minneapolis and was like, I think I've got a whole song here. So I uh, brought it to the guys and they just like knocked it out of the park between arrangement and just um, grabbing, grabbing everything musically to just sort of bring this idea to life of just fighting for you know the good parts of ourselves and fighting to you know be around for all the great stuff in life and um and yeah so we're just so excited to like show it to the world that's incredible that i mean i've listened to the song and i was reading i mean it's such a great upbeat song it has just such a wonderful message i mean i did get very emotional myself i, I mean i think a lot of us have all struggled with these ups and downs of life and especially over the past couple of years so mm -hmm. that's um I got very emotional listening to the song reading the lyrics and it was I uh, congratulations that's, thank you that's a really wonderful song is there anything like what else what about the, like where were you recording it like how did this all come together are you all I mean I mean you've been doing shows so you've been practicing together or was this how did the song all come together then you all want to take this? Sure. Yeah, I feel like you explained the process really well, Maria, where you had like a very involved personal kind of cathartic experience with the actual writing of it. And what we usually do as a band is we take from a songwriting perspective that finished work and then we just try to arrange it in a way that uplifts it. And Krista, I really appreciate the way that you said that, where you were like, you know, it sounds upbeat. But if you dig pretty quickly into the lyrics, right, it's like Maria wrote about something that, that has a lot more layer to it than that. So I think between all of us playing our instruments, we just, that's what we tried to do as a quintet. Um, I don't know if anyone else wants to speak about recording specifically, because we, we get very like 
granular and focused in the studio so that if you got us started talking about that it's dangerous you know <laughs> i've been warned thank you <laughs> but i didn't, if that was one of your specific questions was the studio i'm sure we can talk about that as well i guess any part of it i mean it's i mean that's i think that's really magic i think it's magical coming up with lyrics i think it's amazing that she could come to you and i know like this is how a lot of bands do it too is here are the lyrics give me something give me something good Give me the, how do you got, I mean, just kept that coming together is just very magical. To me, I feel that's very magical. I'm not, I'm not gifted at all in that way. So sounds very magical to me. <laughs> yeah. I will just real, like Maria also wrote the melody and the vast majority of the chords just to be like super clear. Um, but it was the arrangement. I feel like we always make like a quintet. That's like, everybody's really hands-on when it's like, let's make this a rock song. And I think this song for, for us, like in the studio, was a little bit different um, because we really were trying to challenge ourselves to kind of, uh, you know, we arrange it with, you know, the five organic instruments, um, but we kind of had some ideas of like, how can we make this a little bit like larger than life and stuff? Um, so we had a great time. Um, we recorded at uh, Helvig Productions and Excelsior with Stephen Helvig, and um uh, we had a great time like playing around with, you know, some non-organic sounds too, which was kind of in many ways, the first time we were sort of exploring that in our music, um, working with more like synths and pads and, and stuff like that. And letting, um, letting the arrangement for the recorded version be a little bit different than like what we can accomplish live with only five of us. Um, and I think that was really fun. I think, I think that too kind of brings out some more of the influences that we had maybe earlier on when we were learning our instruments, like Kelly Clarkson and Motion City Soundtrack and like Fall Out Boy. It's a lot sonically more similar to, I think, what I was listening to back in the day than like our previous stuff. And so it's it's interesting to have, you know, a different side now. Well, wonderful. What, uh, so I, there's a little celebration coming along with this new track. Tell me, tell, I'm going to keep saying it. I'm like, tell me something good. I can't quit. I can't, I can't quit. <laughs> can't stop. Won't stop. But I will. I will. I will. I'll let you list. I'll, I'll, I'll let you answer. Sorry. <laughs> Yeah, so we're doing a big single release show at the Green Room, um, which we love. Um, we have not, as Maria and the Coins, uh, headlined the Green Room yet. So this is uh, just going to be so much fun. And um, we were like, we really want to make this single release into, um, you know, maybe more than just our, our average gig. We want to make it into kind of a special event because it's a very special event for us and we want it to be special for everybody. Um, so we invited... Um, two of our favorite local bands, Bloodline and Silver Warehouse, to join us. And in addition, um, we have made good friends with the Madison-based band Cat and the Hurricane over the years and um, have been kind of back and forth the last year, actually, trying to get a show set up with them, whether it was in Madison or in Minneapolis. Um, and we reached out to them about this and they were like, yes, we're down. Tell us the date. Um, and so we're really stoked to have them coming too. Um, and then in addition, uh, given kind of the mental health aspect of the, uh, of the single, um, we're excited to have Dissonance, which is mental health and creative organization in Twin Cities. Um, they're going to actually table at the event and uh, be there to provide resources and speak about their mission and stuff. Um, we thought it would just be a great opportunity to just uh, bring a little bit more uh, visibility to like their incredible mission and stuff and like just have this great, great party. I love a great party. That sounds amazing. And I love Green Room. That place is so great. It's awesome. It's a very special place. It'll be perfect for this event, I think. Absolutely. I'm glad that you're partnering with Dissonant. Dis Dissonant? Did I say it right? They yes, Dissonance. Dissonance. Now I can't say it again. Dissonance. Um, <laughs> I'm one and done. Um, Dissonance, that's great that you're offering like just to have them there and to talk to people about that, I think. Yeah. Talking about mental health is 
it feels like it's a lot easier to talk about now and just to have an opportunity for someone to, you know, reach out if they need to. That's wonderful. What else is happening in the Marie and the Coins world? I feel like we're off to a really good start of something good. Here we go again. <laughs> Yes, some other good things happening, right? Um, so, so yeah, so the single release in many ways um, kind of has uh, become like sort of the start of a big new chapter for us. Um, I think after you know, we released our debut album Forward in 2020, um, and I know for me as like a writer, I really struggled to kind of like go like, all right, what happens next? Because I think with that first full length album, you you're like, all right, what are the hits of whatever the last 10 years of writing have been? And you put that all into that record. And then when you go to like start something new, you're like, oh my God, we're back to just like the beginning and stuff. And so um, so I think it's been a big chapter of, uh, of us sort of looking at, you know, not only musically, like where can we go from here, but also I think like what is what is our brand in terms of what is the message that we want to like bring to people and like what is the the bigger purpose of us being artists and being creatives and stuff and what can we bring to the world and I think that's I think that's why something good became sort of like all right this is going to be the first new release this is kind of setting the stage for us this next chapter um so hopefully like the start of of something great um but but yeah we've got a couple like fun things lined up for 2024 uh uh, the first of which will be the week after the single release go on a big turn to play again this year, which we're super stoked about. Wonderful. I love big turn. That's such a great fun event. Definitely. We had a great time last year and um, looking forward to just like not only playing our own set, but just like getting to enjoy so much great music. Exactly. How many bands can you see in this? Okay, maybe that's just my challenge. That could just be my challenge. <laughs> How I think many? we play our set a little bit faster just so that we can <laughs> catch somebody else's. It's a smart move. I probably would do that too. <laughs> just cut it short and go support people, honestly. Yeah. Yep. We tried to squeeze in as many as we possibly could last year, and it was awesome. That was half the fun of it. Yeah. They give you that pamphlet when you check in, and they've got it like, it's so like visually pleasing the way they've got it like lined out, but then you're almost trying to draw a treasure map of like, how can we get from this set to here? And like, where is this in Red Wing and stuff? But what a blast. Well, it's like being on tour where you're trying to do that. And then like one person in the group is like really hungry or like really cold. And so you're also <laughs> like, I got to do the TV guide of all my friends performing. And then like, we got to make sure everybody's like copacetic. It's like yeah. Sims. Yeah. All the, everyone's <laughs> yeah. <bubbles. laughs> My battery's dropping, Adam. Take me home. <laughs> yeah. I need Gatorade or something. Maria's stuck in the pool. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's wonderful. It sounds like you're all off to a great start for 2024. Very excited to see where things, you know, where you all end up through the year and how things shape up. Shape up. I don't even know what I'm saying. You don't need to be shaped up. Don't worry. You're good. <laughs> I don't know. As long as it's saying. something good, it's good. Yes, something good. <laughs> I'm having one of those days, so please bear with me. Well, well things can shape up, right? That's what you said. That's like, that's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> things can shape up. Yes. <laughs> well, thanks so much for your time today. It was wonderful chatting with you all and catching up and very excited congrats again on the new track something good and that is what will be available let's talk it'll be available uh this week streaming everywhere february 9th get ready stream it everywhere woo, woo. <laughs> and the show will give one more plug for the show also february 9th very nice right. wrapped up it's green room your mind bloodline um yeah i have bloodline who i love and i've been wanting to see for a long time and then please help me with the others we got silver warehouse silver warehouse <laughs> yeah and then cat in the hurricane thank you i had it all written down i was like i just get so obvious that i'm like i should have worn my cat in the hurricane sweatshirt to this interview that would have been helpful too like a cheat sheet it would have been for us. yes next time yeah next time. yeah next time <laughs> 
Well, I love it. Thanks so much for stopping by and we'll see you all again very soon, I'm sure. Awesome. Thank you so much for having us, Krista. Thank you. Yeah, thanks so much. Thank you.